How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to another Dinner Beat Devlog. I can't believe we're on Devlog number four already. And we're also about a month away from the beta, which is really exciting and also a little bit nerve wracking because there are definitely a few things that I have to wrap up before it is actually ready for a beta. But I do want to thank the 20 or so folks who have already signed up to participate in the beta. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. I'm looking for about five more folks. Um, this is going to be at the end of November, early December. Um, you'll get lifetime access to Dinner B, which is really cool just for, for helping me out for a little bit. Uh, like I said, really appreciate everybody who's already signed up. But in this devlog, I want to go over a couple things that I have accomplished in the past couple weeks or so, and just go over a few tasks that I need to complete before this is ready for the beta. So I've got my handy dandy notebook here. This is honestly how I keep track of everything for this project. I don't have like a notion board or a Trello board or anything, uh, which I should really do because I'm not very good at keeping track of all the things that I need to do. But at the end of my last devlog, I made a list of, I believe, five or six uh, different tasks that I need to complete before it is ready for the beta. So those six things are users can log in, requests that users make once they're logged in are actually you know, made from their user ID uh, and pull their relevant information. Uh, I need a landing page. I need a user account creation flow. So essentially uh, my flow is gonna be a user creates an account and then they have to purchase the software and then they're able to access the features of the software. I need to host it. And then there is a little bit of conditional rendering that I need to do based on a user's role. So these are not small tasks necessarily, but I am happy to say that I have knocked out at least the first two. So uh, users are able to log in. I've had this functionality from a backend perspective for some time now. I just didn't actually have a screen, a UI screen where a user was able to log in and then they would be propagated over to the, the features. So I got that set up. And then the second part of that was to make sure that uh, requests are actually made from that user. So from there, once a user logs in, I'm able to grab their uh, user information from a JWT token. And then essentially I'm just making requests based off of that user information so I can grab the relevant uh, data for that user. So those are the first two things out of the way, which is awesome. And where I am right now is on that third item on my list, which was creating a landing page. Uh, this is also can be seen as a, a sales page. So I really wanted to spend some extra time thinking about my exact messaging and wording on this page and what exactly am I trying to convey to my customer that is ultimately going to lead them to purchase Dinner B. When I had initially done my mocks, my, my Figma mocks, before I even started this project, uh, I didn't have a full set of landing page mocks. I really only had like the first initial screen like above the fold. And uh, unfortunately, I'm feeling the effects of that now where I'm trying to uh, create all of this without mocks on hand. And doing it without the designs on hand is kind of taking a bit longer than I kind of would have liked. I find myself going back and forth on how things should look, uh, where certain elements should be, and I kind of wish I just had fleshed this out initially uh, so I didn't have to worry about all of these design decisions now. I'll hop into my computer real quick though just to see uh, where I'm at right now. Maybe I'm about halfway done with the landing page. There's a few more sections that I want to add to further convey my message for Dinner B. Uh, but yeah, let's hop in and I'll show you what I got. Alrighty, so I am on the Dinner B homepage right now. Again, this is going to be the landing page, the sales page, where I'm going to direct folks uh, from any of my marketing efforts. So I really do want to have some kind of cohesive messaging between uh, whatever kind of marketing that I'm doing, whether it be social media content um, or any kind of paid advertising. I really want to make sure that that messaging is cohesive from whenever they first see anything about my brand over to when they hit my landing page. So a big thing for me is going to be this whole concept of um, getting rid of the what's for dinner question because that is something that my girlfriend and I ask each other all the time at like 4.30 uh, after a long day of work and it's just definitely something that we don't want to think about. So going to try and drive that home. Another big feature for Dinner Bee is that um, there is this coordination between 
either couples or roommates or or it could be individuals um, but a, a big thing a big sell is that you're able to uh, plan your meals with whoever you live with this is a really powerful feature and it's also a differentiator for dinner b against other types of software that are like it so i want to make sure that i'm emphasizing that right away by saying you know dinner b's intuitive software allows couples roommates and individuals to effortlessly plan their weekly dinners save recipes and more. so these are two of the really core feelings and emotions that I'm trying to capture. So this sentiment of the annoyance that comes with what's for dinner, and then the coordination and kind of camaraderie that comes with planning meals with somebody else. Currently, this button doesn't redirect it to anywhere, but it will kick off the account creation flow. Uh, similarly, this login doesn't do anything. But now if we keep going below the fold, we'll see uh, this next section, which kind of drives home those feelings and sentiments that I was talking about before. I'll probably work a bit more on the UI of this. I don't really love how this looks at all, um, but this is kind of a first draft to get the sentiments and, and the messaging together. So again, these are three really important kind of feelings and actions that a user is going to take uh, on the dinner view platform. So they'll be able to plan out their recipes, enjoying stress-free meals. Uh, they'll be able to save time and money um, by not eating out and instead going to the grocery store. Uh, and uh, again, coordinating with a significant other or roommate um, or just by yourself uh, at, at no additional cost, which is an, another great feature of Dinner B. You're able to add a guest to a calendar so that the, you can coordinate together and they don't have to purchase anything. And this is where I am right now. I'm on this next section, uh, which is going to kind of highlight potentially the cost savings that Dinner B could uh, get for you. So I've got these two sliders. Currently, they have the same question on them. But uh, the first one is going to be how many times do you eat out per week? And the second is how many people are you serving? Uh, you know, how many people are in your household? So uh, based off of the values on these sliders, we'll be able to kind of calculate, uh, get a rough estimate of the cost difference between cooking a meal and how much it costs to eat out. And then I'll be displaying that number to folks so they can really justify the cost savings that could potentially come with dinner B. And even just a quick Google, you can see that the average cost of a home cooked meal is $4.31, whereas eating out is $20.37, at least probably in the United States, a 75% saving if you're cooking instead of eating out. So really even if somebody is eating out once a week or twice a week, uh, the, the cost savings for being able to plan out your meals and then also do an effective and efficient grocery haul, it's going to pay for the software very, very quickly. So yeah, definitely, as you can see, this is very much still a work in progress. I would like to finish this landing page uh, if I can by the end of this devlog. So I'll stop my screen share here and I'll be back in a little bit to show you the final draft of this landing and sales page. There have definitely been a lot of things that I've had to just keep on learning as I've been building this project and even just building a simple landing page. There are things that I need to learn in terms of design, um, messaging, marketing, and how I'm talking to my customers. And you know, I really do love the, the continuous learning part of building software and, and building my own SaaS. And that whole concept of continuous learning is why I decided to partner with today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is where you learn by doing. With thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. And Brilliant really is the most effective way to learn, as each lesson is filled with hands on problem solving that lets you play with concepts. This is a method that has proven to be six times more effective than just watching lecture videos. Plus, all content on Brilliant is crafted by an award winning team of teachers, researchers, and professionals from MIT, Caltech, Duke, Microsoft, Google, and more. Personally, what I've found most impactful are their programming courses that develop your mind to think like a programmer. There are beginner-friendly and advanced courses from general programming all the way to how LLMs work under the hood with real-world applications and case studies that explain how to apply your new knowledge. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org geno or scan the QR code on screen or you can click on the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Alrighty, so looking back at it, that first draft was pretty trash. I think y'all can agree with that. So it's a couple days later now. I've made a ton of updates to the landing page uh, and kind of gotten it in the exact state that I want it with all these sections that I need in order to convey my message and try to generate sales for Dinner Bee. So yeah, let's hop back into my computer and I think you'll like what you see a whole lot better this time. Above the fold looks exactly the same. 
Um, but if we continue to scroll down, we'll be able to see these new sections. And so this is most of the same content that I had before. I added one more card, but this section is now a lot cleaner. I used the website Dribble to get a lot of my design inspiration because I'm really not good at design, so I try and get as much help and inspiration as I possibly can get. So from there, I decided on this new format, and I really like the way that these uh, cards look and also how they convey my message through emotions and with the features that you'll get with Dinnerbee. Moving on to the next section, this is pretty similar to what I had before, except now the sliders actually work and convey the potential dollar savings that you could have uh, if you are planning out your meals in advance and cooking from home instead of eating out. So yeah, if you eat out two times a week with two people in your household, then you can probably save about $60 a week just by cooking at home. And of course, I have this disclaimer down here that uh, this is based off of a home-cooked meal being about 75% cheaper than eating out. Hopefully this is something that can really just justify the cost of dinner B upfront. Uh, a one-time payment for dinner B is only $37, so if people can say, hey, I'm going to be saving $60 a week, the software is going to pay for itself very, very quickly, and hopefully this will be a good selling point for dinner B. Up next, we have some testimonials. Obviously, I don't have any testimonials yet because the website is not live. I don't have any users or anything like that. But I am hoping to get some testimonials from the beta and just from having friends and family use the app before it goes out to a larger pool of people. I think this will be pretty important, and I'll definitely try to curate as many reviews as possible going forward. Moving on, we have our pricing options, and I like how this came out a lot. In my mind, my philosophy with pricing for this software is I want the options to be as simple as possible. I really don't want my potential customer to have to make very difficult decisions about this. I really think that the, um, the payment and pricing should be as simple as possible and give as few options as possible. So all I have is a lifetime access and a monthly subscription. So lifetime is $37, monthly will be $4.95 a month. They have the same exact features. One is just obviously a bit cheaper upfront. And then finally, I have an FAQ section down here. Uh, I only have a few questions at the moment, but I will be continuing to add these, especially as I start to get actual customers uh, and actual questions from potential customers. I can add those here, and they will be uh, very relevant to you know what my folks might be thinking as they're going through the account creation and purchasing uh, Dinner B. You know, what's going through their mind? What are the questions that they have? I can hopefully address those here. So yeah, and now I also have live links to, if someone wants to get started now, they're able to go and create their account. Uh, after they do sign up and create an account, they will be redirected over to a page that has these pricing options again. Uh, they'll be able to select their pricing option and that'll redirect over to uh, Stripe checkout uh, and all the payment will be handled through there. Alrighty, so that's gonna wrap up this devlog. I was able to knock out three of the six items that I, I need to do before the beta, which is really exciting. Uh, in the next devlog, I'll be talking about that user account creation and user onboarding flow and kind of showcasing that once it's all set. Keep an eye out for that. And also, if you haven't signed up for the beta already, like I said, I'm looking for about five more folks to join that. I'll leave a link down in the description that has the Google form where you can check that out. Thanks again to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description to start your free trial. Thanks again for watching all the way through to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. I'll see you in the next one.